And uh, are we live? I'm not sure whether we're live. <laughs> yes, we are live. All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, mo most of y'all probably gonna watch this as a VOD. So, welcome to the Julian Tech PM Live PC build. Today we are building a PC for Diablo 4. Yeah, uh, I was hoping that we can get the open beta today or early access beta, but it will be out tonight at 12 a.m. So I might do another live stream to test out the game another day. But today we are building the PC. So uh, I open up the uh, guide for the tech specs. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Ethan, Kai Music, JY Lee. Okay. So uh, talking about, yeah. So the minimum, no, not minimum. The recommended specs is a 970, right? GTX 970 and they claim you can run it at medium settings uh, at 1080p 60 frames per second but is that 60 average or is that like able to play 60 frames per second because I feel like it's not gonna be enjoyable even though it's recommended settings but I'll, I'll do a separate video it's gonna be out on Friday to talk more about the recommended uh, PC because I want to test it out I don't think you can test it out so we're building a PC that I feel is going to be confirmed can play 1080p ultra settings, which is the RX 6600. This card is like the value 1080p king. It used to be the six, RTX 3060, but once this came out, the, because of the price, the 6600 is the sweet spot for value and gaming. Uh, let's be some. I'm all ready to start tonight. Yes, we are all ready. 12 a.m. tonight. 12 a.m. I'm still saving money to buy a PC. Here's the thing. If you, if you want to play uh, OB, eh, if you want to play OBS, yes. if you want to play Diablo 4, you got to buy it now. Because the beta, yeah, the open beta is tonight. Tonight at 12 a.m. Tonight for 12 a.m. Yeah, for the pre-orders, for the early access. For the open beta is going to be on Friday. Next Friday. Yeah, so I'm making this so that, you know, if you if you want to play the open beta in... Uh, or else I'm very dark. Uh. The camera making me very dark. Uh, if you want to play the open beta in Friday, then you have to build a PC. I'm not sure whether they have it on console. But then again, PS5 are still so expensive. Are you rather buy a, a PC? This, because this PC, the 6600, if, if you don't get this, like, because this has a bit of uh, extra components. You can buy this PC or build this PC for a thousand dollars. Yeah, you got a sixty-six hundred and a fifty-six hundred X. Uh, I'm talking about the sixty-six hundred GPU, fifty-six hundred CPU. It gets a bit uh, confusing with the numbers, so I get it. If you if you're in this world, then you know it. But if you're not, then yeah. Uh, early pu purchase is tonight, twelve a.m. Correct. Early purchase for the early purchase. Uh, tonight you can play for the one that haven't purchased open beta it will be next week I already pre-ordered because yeah <laughs> um, okay so let's let's get on to the build I actually have an RTX 3060 here but we're not going to use this so this PC is already somewhat installed the only thing that's not installed is the RAM uh, SSD and GPU but let's talk about a bit about the CPU, okay? Because usually that's what we talk about. Because we talk a bit about the uh, GPU already. Because I feel like if you already have an old PC, then yeah, you would wonder whether you can play, which I'm going to go through it in a proper video. So the extra components I was talking about is like the AIO, uh, this PC, and honestly also RAM because the RAM I have is now DDR5. DDR5 is a lot cheaper now because the 8 gig sticks are out and uh, lower lo like 5,000 mega transfers per second. Uh, this one is, this one I don't know what's the speed, 5200 are uh, 16 gigabytes so that's 32. You don't need 32. You can buy 8 gig sticks now. I, I only got this because back then only 32, uh, sorry 16 gig sticks are available now 8 gig are available you can see let, let me show you this is by Aoros Ta -da. 
right? So that's the extra thing because with this motherboard, it only takes DDR5. This is an Intel uh, CPU. It's the 12400F. If you want to save more money, you can go to 12100F. If you want to save even more money, it's the 5600 for the AMD side. Uh, the 12400 would be a little bit better CPU. Uh, you're going to pay about $100 to $100.50 more. Let me read some comments. Uh, early pictures, yeah, yeah, I recall now. Volume very, volume very soft. Okay, le. I see the volume is okay. Le. I think you raise up your volume. Uh, let me know, everyone else, if you think the volume is soft. But the looking at the uh, audio peaks, right, it looks fine. Yeah. Uh, okay, what else next? Uh, but yeah, AIO is a bit extra. The motherboard is a bit extra because of DDR5. Why wow, this one never put in properly on? Okay. Uh, but I kind of install everything because I don't want to waste the live stream and, and install all the PC components. So I have added everything in. So we're going to add in the RAM, uh, SSD. I hope that's Windows so that we don't have to install Windows. But if we have to install, then never mind. We can just have like a QA. and a uh, And let me see what else is extra. Uh, honestly, this case is also extra. This case is by Gigabyte. It's a nice case. But for the price, you can get a, a, a better case from Fractal Design, Lian Li, uh, NZXT. Uh, yeah, to be honest. Lah. But if you can get it at a good price, then it's good. So let's install the PC. So I'm going to change the angle a bit. And then we zoom. Zoom. I'm going to let you all see the P PC building process. Ah, okay, uh, so we're going to add in the SSD first because that's the some easier one. Oh no, crap, I need a, the screw. Yeah, the screw around here. Uh, is this the one? Nope. Ah, there it is. Yeah, we need uh, this SSD M.2 screws are very tiny, so a lot of times I either lose them but now I have it in this. Hopefully this works. Okay, so we have the 98 Pro. Oh, so I already installed the, the beta. The beta is 85 gigabytes, let y'all know. So you if you have only one stick of, stick of uh, SSD, at least 500 gigabytes, yeah, at least. And it's recommended to put it in a SSD, not a hard drive that's what the web website said because probably it's all about loading time so let me show you you can see right okay i'm gonna block and then we screw this in oh yeah i cannot i cannot reach screw i uh, very stubborn this this screw and my hands keep shaking come on come on stop shaking my hands naturally will shake. I ever went to the doctor and checked for like diabetes and all this. I'm okay. My hands just shake a lot. Okay, SSD installed. We add in the shield. <sighs> the shield, I also lost the screw, so I have to add uh, another screw to it. Okay. Make sure it's all in. Okay, it's in. Can you see? Okay, and then the other screw the other side. It's hard to build a PC vertically, but I can one. Okay, hold on, uh, I'm gonna read chat. All right, there we go. Installed. Okay, let's see whether any chat. Bro, which class you gonna play? Here's uh, <laughs> here's something I I've never played Diablo before. When Diablo three came out, I didn't have a PC. I was still at the I think, uh, Xbox three sixty phase, and I wanted to play. By the time by the time I had uh my PC, like it's been two three years since Diablo three came out, then I didn't really get into it. But I always wanted to play, so <laughs> I 
I have no idea what classes are there. Uh, but that's, that's the thing. I, I, it's like finally I'm in the PC Master Race after so long and I get to play it. And I get to play it in 4K <laughs> with my 4080. Uh, but no, we're gonna, we're gonna do minimum requirements. I will never lie the PC down. Just need more LED camera seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, sorry, just join. Me and some stuff uh, about the fans, red. Uh, are you gonna stay out of the queue? Should they be su sucking through air? The red. Wait, let me read again. Sorry, just join and we have missed some stuff. But the fans on the red are exhausting out of the case. Shouldn't it be sucking air through the red? I mean, it doesn't really matter whether it sucks or it blows. Technically, yeah, if you suck it in, you're like getting hot air in, right? but it doesn't really matter that's a that's a good point to put but it's very minuscule so it doesn't really matter because the, i mean let me let me think about it it's a good it's a good fact because at the end of the day the hot air will there's no plus minus it's a very minuscule 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 very little effect but yeah you have a good point we, we might do a testing uh, I know it's a little bit of a change, but like not too big that it will mess up the PC. But you know, it's, it's a good good point you, you, you put there. We might do a test one day. Okay, we, we put a RAM. Uh, but yeah, if y'all don't understand what he's trying to say, is right now, uh, clean air is going through the radiator in the PC. When I say clean air, I mean cool air that comes out hot. Let me think. Uh. Yeah. Is, is that bad? Because it's going to affect the GPU temperatures. But if you think about it uh, the other way, if you put it up here, uh, putting it out, um, the GPU is hot and it will affect the radiator as well. So I think both ways it doesn't matter. Okay, we, we, let's add in the RAM. Uh, is, this, is it this way? If you think about DDR5, the notch is very centralized. It's a little offset. But because it's so centralized, I always get it right, wrong. But I think this is right. Okay, 16 gigabytes times 2, 52 megatransfers per second. Okay, so again, you can get the DDR4 version, or if you get DDR5, you can get the 8 stick version okay uh, next let's go with the gpu let's uh zoom out a bit okay too much okay so we have the power color fighter uh, rx 6600 depends on what brand is available the 6600 very affordable if you go online online this card is about 300 to 350 i think if you go simply right it can be even cheaper and this will give you a solid 1080p experience. If you have a bit more money, then the RTX, a RTX, uh, the 6600 XT. I think the XT version is great. If you have even more money, then go for the 3060 Ti. I don't think the 3060, which I have here, this is the 3060, is uh, very valuable unless you really want the uh, DLSS 2. Uh, let's read some comments. Uh, let's read the chat. That's why they call it now. The streamer, the 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 chat is. We read the chat. You guys are chat. Do check the gameplay in UW. Really beautiful. What's UW? Underworld. And I don't know. Uh, let me know what's UW. Uh, hmm. Usually air pull through the red into the case. But yeah, can do some tests later. Underrated PC. Everyone says the sound is low, but I don't know how to raise the sound here. Eh? A little soft. Ah. Huh. How do I boost it up? It's already max. Okay, wait. Ah. Hello? Hello? Is that, is that how? Sound better? Okay, wait. I try to I try to change it. Let me try to change it. Okay, I need to talk a bit. If not, people will be like, where is this thing go? I think a bit hard way. Maybe you can boost it. Uh, let's see, properties. We go to filter, audio add, noise gate, expander, equalizer. Maybe we add an equalizer. We get it to 
up to 5 decibel, decibels. Let's see if it works. Much better, much better, much better. Okay, we increase a bit more. Increase to 7.5 decibels. Okay. Oh, because I never write, I never hit, okay, okay. Hello, hello, I think this should be better, right? I'm, I increase this to seven, yeah, 7.5 decibels. Okay, cool. We got that figured out. Yeah, yeah, it looks better. Yeah, now it's like, because the audio was like at a good green level. Now it's a bit on the orange. Basically, you don't have to pick. Okay, good. Never pick. Okay, so uh, we're talking about the GPU. So the RX 6600. Better? Can lah. Okay, I'll shout. I'll shout all the way down. <laughs> okay lah, should be good lah. I think it's good. Uh, okay, so 6600. So let's unbox this. Look at how small this is. This one is very affordable. Super affordable. Look at that. Look at that. So you can see Radeon 6600. Very, very nice card. Reminds me of the like Zotac 1060 card. Like you look at the difference between the uh, gigabyte. Like look at gigabyte. Okay, let me stand back. Right. Gigabyte RTX 3060, look at how the size comparison. We haven't seen this kind of cards for a long time. It's all the big, big 4080, uh, 3080, 3090. Uh, but Radeon cards are generally a lot cooler. Like even if you look at, this is the 6600 XT. Look, look, look. I have two same gigabyte not same la. one is Aoros, one is Gigabyte. Same brand but different like uh, different lah. Same same but different. So this on my right hand, which is on the left of your screen, is the 6600 XT. This is the RTX 3060. This one. Okay. So looks the same, right? But look at the the thickness. RTX 3060, 6600 XT. Look at the thickness so different you need so much more cooling for the rtx 3060. look at that right do a side profile it's even longer look at that get some gap i can't get the gap on the other side ah okay yeah okay this build would cost uh less than one thousand dollars depend depending on what cpu you get this one in particular would probably cost a, a lot more because of the extra stuff i talked about uh, let me repeat again extra stuff is the motherboard because of the ddr5 ram the aio cooler and the case but if you get all the value uh, cpu at all uh, or the motherboard uh, you get like a 12100 or the 5600 you get the uh, a, a very affordable case. You get a, a very affordable motherboard and RAM. You will go down to less than one k. That reminds me of the old seven hundred and fifty Ti twin card. I know, right? Uh, back then it was so small. Okay, let's add this this bad boy in. Okay, zoom in. Okay. So this one, only, see, it only takes one one eight pin. I haven't seen that in a long time. Hey, zoom. Ah, uh, one eight pin. I love it, man. I love it. Zoom. Focus lah. Zoom. Now these days, what GPU takes four PCIe brackets is crazy, man. It's crazy. Ah, I should use the drill. Got drill. Use drill. Save time, you know. Ah, if you look at. You look at uh, 30, 30, 4080 cards, uh, these things are huge, man. No case can fit that. Okay, and then we have the power. Man, it should be good. I can turn on the PC already. Let me see if I have the... No, I don't have it here. But I have the heat sink for the ROG Strix. <laughs> Insane. Okay. Yeah, yeah we, we, we added everything in already. I think this is good. Like, if I... If I were to build the whole PC, it takes too long. 
but now we are pretty much done. And the, the pacing of the video is good also. Or, or, or rather the live stream. D4 minimum requirement is surprisingly quite low. I mean, it's always like that lah. They, are, they want it to be low so that people know, uh, go like, oh, hey, I can, I can play. Then they buy the PC or they buy the game, I mean. And then they realize, oh, actually cannot. But I think, but I think the recommended settings is really you can play, but will you enjoy playing it? Really depends. If for me, I don't think I'll enjoy because I've been using it. It's all about perspective, right? I've been using like, what? 3090s, 4080s, and then I have, if I have to downgrade, it'd be, it'd be shit. But if let's say you, you, <laughs> you play with internal graphics, then a 970 would be good. Hi, hi, how are you? I'm doing well, doing well. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna test out the PC. Hopefully that this PC has Windows installed already. <sighs> I, I got a portable, portable, portable uh, moni uh, monitor, yes. So we don't have to like take a whole monitor out. I don't know how to use this freaking thing, man, but let's, let's add everything in. So we got power. Oh shit, it's a bit too low. Got power. Okay, HDMI. Let's see whether we got. Hey, never turn on. And turn on. Okay, good. And let's see whether I can figure this. How to do this thing? How do you like? How do you make this stand? Ah, yes. I, yes, like that. Hopefully, it pulls. Ah, uh, okay. I need to zoom out a little bit. Zoom out. Deep, 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 deep. There we go. Ah, uh, let me read some chat. Today, there's a console gameplay released by Dev. Looks really bad graphics-wise. Maybe the low-end PC will end up with that output. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, uh, during PS4 times, uh, during PS4 times, the quality on PS4 is still lousier than PC slow. But now PS5 is a little bit better. But it's gonna, uh, as time goes on, it's gonna be the same thing. Lah. Why the angle is so weird? Why my head chopped off? You see my head chopped off? Let me go. go. Hey, Drift Shadow. Hello. How are you doing, man? Who texts me? Ha! <laughs> Ridwan is here. Uh, hope the PC builds well. Okay, did, did it run? Ah, yes, got, got, got Windows. Ah, yeah, it's uh, got, got, ah, Windows. Got reflection. So the PC is running fine. So we can't play the Diablo 4 now because the game is not out yet. But I have installed, or rather I have bought Diablo 3. So we can kind of play that. Uh, okay, wait, I need to raise up. I should have actually got a proper monitor. Then you all can actually see. Uh, let me try to get this so that there's no... Okay, we're gonna zoom in into this. Well, I get a keyboard and mouse. So, if, if, I mean, if we get if we get the uh, you know what, I will just install Diablo three first. After that, I will get a proper monitor. Then you can see. Windows 10, yes, correct. Windows 10 is correct. And uh, let me install the drivers as well. Okay. Let's get this. Oh, I got no internet as well. Shit. Let me get an uh, ethernet cable. Oh, where's my internet cable? Shit. <gasps> where's my internet cable? My white one, very, very long one. Damn. Lost. This one got Wi-Fi, huh? 
Wi-Fi ขอ Wi-Fi but where's my okay okay so I'm got Wi-Fi ah yeah Wi-Fi cannot man Wi-Fi will take too long ah but better than nothing lah we can can chit chat while the Wi-Fi installs ah yeah let me get the Wi-Fi stick uh when is Diablo releasing tonight is the early access beta uh open beta will be next week friday game will launch in june what is the advanced display why is the display so odd okay yeah need to do all the necessary stuff with this Let me get the Wi-Fi in first. Need, need the internet, man. Need the internet. Hold on, now, guys. Give me a second. All right. Then we should get the Wi-Fi. I don't know where my internet go. Okay. Uh, Where the Wi-Fi? There's no Wi-Fi setting. What the fuck? Because I don't have the damn. Because I don't have drivers, is it? So weird. Wait, let me try to find an Ethernet cable then. It's on the floor or something. I remember I was keeping it, but I forgot where I keep. Ah, uh, damn. I could use the really long one. Where did it go? <sighs> I don't want to use the very long one. Hmm. Yeah, give me a second. I'm trying to find the Ethernet. I, I'll take one more look. I remember I was skipping it. I was doing like the my whole setup. And I was like keeping. That's the thing. If I, if, I don't know whether y'all have this problem. If you have everything uh, messy, you can find your thing. But if everything neat, right, you'll be like, eh, where's, where's everything? And, th and that is a very true problem I have. When I keep things nicely, I cannot find. That's why I never keep things nicely. But I keep things nicely so that I can work. Because sometimes when it's too messy, uh, I cannot work. Ah, uh, I guess. Okay, one, one last look. Yes. One last look. Zoom out. One last look before I get the very long Ethernet cable. Is it here? No, it's not here. Hmm. I how can it not how can it how can how can uh the cable is like what three five three to five meters long? How can I lose that much cable? It's on the floor. Boom! Nope. Where can it be? Hope. I can't find the cable, guys. You all got to see the cable or not, guys? Chat. Chat. Ah, damn it, man. I think I got to take the, the big one. I'll show you what I mean by the very long Ethernet cable. Okay. Uh, give me a second. As I get the cable out. Because it's high, high up. But good thing is I'm tall. Ah, there we go. Ah! There we are. This one is, I think, what, 10 meters? Here we go. Found <laughs> Not found it. La. It's a very long one. Look at it. 10 meter cable. I, 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 don't, I don't know, man. Okay. Ethernet. So we get... Running along, running along. Yeah, this is all I need, and I still have this bunch. Go in, man. Holy crap. 
Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, I found it. Damn it. Ah, yeah, I put it nicely. Damn. That's why I don't put things nicely. I, and I finally found it. Guys, I found the cable. I found the cable. It doesn't matter now. I found, I found it. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, man. Okay, uh, let me let, let me install the B net. <sighs> Damn it, man! What the? Okay, first thing I need to install is uh, actually AMD drivers. So I get the drivers in first. Not XT, dude. Not XT. Get the drivers and I get uh, B net. I have a question for you guys. Uh, has Google Chrome been really slow for y'all? Like, I'm not sure why. Like, after the whole AI thing with Bing, Google Chrome has been slow like goddamn slow and it forces you to use edge and i don't know what edge that did they have all my bookmarks of my google chrome like it looks exactly the same as google chrome feels better i feel like windows 11 is doing something man because this is windows 10 windows 10 and chrome is fine with windows 10 hey sorry this, uh, this is not even edge uh, this is not even chrome i mean it's edge Oh, oh, they, they updated the driver. <laughs> Use Firefox. Do you, here's a fun fact, guys. Do you know Firefox is not a fox? The logo is not a fox. Do y'all know that? Fun facts. You know what, what, you know what's the animal on it? You, you, you guess. Let me just try to download the drivers. Bnet for Windows. Get that Bnet. Get that Bnet. I wanna get that Bnet. There we go. Oh, I haven't installed yet. Ah, how they how they even install is the same. taking so long to install hmm. I think I, I think a, a few of the drivers not working very well like Ethernet drivers and, and whatnot because it's going damn slow I don't know what motherboard is this but never mind we get that later where's my downloads my downloads okay binet is up get that binet Oh wait, what what is it called now? Better net what? Correct what? B net what? No man. I I I ah mobile gaming is right. Red Panda. I mean you all have the internet lah. WC three Dota days. But back then the people don't people don't even use B net. Like I remember B net during Dota days right it was horrendous. The ping was like five hundred ping. Usually, you know what we use? You know, guys, last, okay, this one can be a TikTok, okay? I never, ah, shit, I never uh, record. Let me start recording now. Let me teach you all guys, uh, last time. Last time when you play Dota, it's not, use Bnet one. No, Bnet was a crap. It had like 5,000, no, five, not 5,000, 500 ping. No, last time you used what? Uh, Garena. Yes, Garena not was a League of Legends thing. Garena was Dota thing. Dota 1, uh, not 2. Uh. Then last time, uh, 
<laughs> it's like, I lag. Hey, can tunnel me? Can tunnel me? <laughs> Good times, man. But yeah, if y'all didn't know, Garena was the... Was that... I don't know how Garena works back then. But basically, you open the game, you use Garena, and, and Garena acts like a land. Like, you're not going through Warcraft 3 and going into like a, a internet, like the servers in Battle.net. It's like you go on to Garena, you go in a rooms and these rooms act as a LAN uh, where, where uh, you will see the other people in that custom game in the LAN. I don't know whether that, that makes sense, but basically Garena acts as if you're in the same internet LAN network. Yeah. But man, that, those were great times, man. Last time got no ranking. Last time there were no rankings, there were no matchmakings. There was there matchmaking? No, there were, there were no matchmaking. You just went into a room. I forgot whether there's matchmaking, but, but you went into a room, like you look, uh, and then you just play with the random people. Yeah. Wow, back then was... Wow, that was, that was ancient time, man. Uh, let me get my uh, get my uh, B net. I tell you, B net uh, has been uh, damn annoying, man. Where's my? Yeah, here we go. This is me. Okay, here we go. And then the B net is good. All right. Does anyone use Intel? Who use Intel? Then who use AMD? Uh, uh, huh? What? I don't understand. Ah, yeah, dash ping, dash, dash swap. Oh, good time, man. You see your ping, then you see like all oh, 500. Like, oh man, tunnel me, tunnel me. Ah, good times, really good times. Okay, skip tour. Um, there's no point getting Diablo 4 now. So, okay, so we're gonna get Diablo 3 installed, and then we can see how well this PC runs on Diablo 3. And then we can get, get a guesstimation of how it will run on Diablo 4. Okay, so as that is installed, uh, let me get, let me install the AMD software as well. AMD. AMD, there we go. Get proper drivers, then we can get a proper big monitor. Then it's easier to, to see what I'm doing as well. <sighs> my, fun, my father turning 66, damn. Who report me? Tell me this is my father account. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Damn funny back then. That was Hamachi. What is Hamachi? Uh? I forgot. It sounds so familiar. Hamachi. Hamachi. Damn, man. That, I, I, remember, I remember it was something, but what, what exactly was it? I heard, I heard it before. Wow, I cannot remember. Hamachi. Can you, can you explain to me what's Hamachi? Yeah, back then, Garena was the thing, man. And now, we're probably in our 30s, late 20s, even mid-30s. On with life. Gonna get kids, getting married, or hustling in your business. Oh, man. Things change, man. Things change. All right, let's get into it. Haven't installed yet, haven't installed yet. I think why is it installed? How fast is my internet speed? They never say. Ah, very slow. I don't know why is it so slow. I think the drivers is gonna take quite some time. Uh, because like if it's connected to my main PC, right, my editing PC, it goes hundred megabytes per second. But this is like eleven megabytes fast. I mean. Oh, last time was like one megabyte, you're happy already. But yeah, it should be a lot faster. Okay, 
can install that now get a proper monitor Monitor stand, uh, monitor stand, kind of blowy, and the monitor itself. Hello. Get the power for the monitor. The power for the monitor. Get the power for the monitor. Here we go. Power for the monitor. And then we got the HDMI in. The HDMI go into the HDMI. The display port. The display cable go into the display port. Alright, we don't need this anymore. We angle it so it has no reflection. There we go. Alright. Now let me angle this camera so that I can see the screen. There we go. Perfect. A bit slanted here and there. Maybe put the cables behind and look better. Get a proper mouse pad. The zoom. Okay. Looks very nice. Ah, I need to restart uh, later. Uh, get the installation done first. Uh, okay, good. Not blocking. Let's make this a bit straighter. There we go. Straight. Straight for the camera, not straight for me. Okay. Uh, let me go let me go see the drivers. What? Motherboard is this. Uh, let me see where's the box. It's a Gigabyte B660 Master, I think. Uh, Gigabyte B660 um, Master. Make sure it's the right motherboard first. Correct. Okay, let, let me can see how far, how different the internet internet speed is also. Can I raise this up? Can I raise it higher? Okay, I'm good. Maybe move up as well. So why are your message restricted? Yeah. What you what what is it because of the father cannot play father? Is it retracted? Do not restricted. Okay. Master um, support. There's other, other, eh, where's the support? Support. Okay. Uh, CPU support, drivers, audio, LAN. We just need LAN. Other stuff also need also, la, but it's in that mind. La. Okay, Windows 10. Can't be a Windows issue. That's why, let, let's see how important is it to install your drivers. I'm gonna say again, no drivers installed for the LAN. They, wow, well, they even pause. Run at 11 megabytes per second. And now it's even pause, I don't know why. Now I'm going to install the drivers for LED. 
oh, I can actually launch Diablo 3 already. But let's install the drivers first. If they will let me know where's the drivers. Okay, installing Intel drivers. Let's wait for a while. Are you hiring people to manage your assets such as your GPU, CPU, mobile, and other prefer? Why why do I need a manager? Is there a part list? Uh yeah, good good. Um I will add it after the live stream. Uh the part list. Yeah, the, the, yeah the, here's the here's the PC. Uh but let me repeat myself. At the moment, uh, I'll give you all two specs. One is what I'm running and what I recommend for a uh, for the value. This is for a value build, okay, so that you don't break the bank. Th at the moment, it's running the 12400F with a B660 uh, DDR5, 16 gigs of RAM. Sorry, 16 times 2 gigs of RAM. So it's total is 30, uh, 32. GPU we're running at 6600, so not that expensive. I think this whole thing will cost 1.5k. It's a lot of extra stuff. If you get the other one, which is the recommended, which is a 5600 AMD, okay, very affordable, with a B550, it's going to cost you, that one is going to cost you about $300, $400. Then you get a 6600 XT with your uh, storage, everything, uh, stock cooler, it's going to run you less than 1K. Very easy one. Yeah, but I'll, I'll put the uh, part list in the description. Okay, so now we install all the drivers. We're going to restart. And we're going to see how the internet speed is. I'm <sighs> going to zoom out a bit. Okay. Sorry guys, bye. Slash fall down. Yeah, I'll put both part lists, okay? So anyone that's watching this, uh, that wants to know more, we can do it. Yeah, like I said, we, we unfortunately can't play Diablo 4 today because it's not out yet. Like the, the early access beta is not out. Uh, but I'm planning to do a proper video about this, like testing out different setup. Uh, I am actually going to buy a 970, that's the recommended uh, piece, uh, GPU that they say. I'm going to buy a 970 later on tonight uh, to do a proper video. Uh, I don't need this man, remind me in three days time. Okay, let's go to Bnet. Uh, right now we're going to Diablo 3 just to see how it runs. Let me see, someone asked, 2070. Let me do a, a quick Google search to see how well it is. But I think the 2070 Super is better actually. Like it won't be much of an upgrade. Yeah, no, it's not an upgrade. It's not an upgrade at all. The 20, 2070 Super is like 30% better. Even the 6700 is not, not better. Yeah, the 20, 2070 Super is still better. 2070 Super is still... still uh, 2070 Super is good. It's very good. Only if you want to buy new. Then the 6600 is, is good, like if you would want to break the bank. I'm going to say this again. Uh, which GPU I would choose along the lines of cheapest to mo most expensive, okay? So it's going to be 6600, then a bit more expensive, 6600 XT. I wouldn't buy the, six, the 3060, but I would buy the 3060 Ti. That one, so that's the a bit more expensive. Then after that, it will be... The, the problem with the, the next jump, right, is that the 3070 Ti or the 3070 is very expensive at the moment because of the, the supply. Uh, the supply is a lot lower. So 
we are in a a uh, market right where the mid range is not value uh, not value enough for me la, to buy but it will be a 3070 is the 3070 3070 i and the 6900 and 6800 that one's a bit more debatable that was a good depends on what's the price but i think i would go for the 3070 3070 ti but really depends on the price also then after that 3080 is not worth anymore 3090 is not worth anymore unless you can go a good deal then the, whole, the super high end is going to be the 4080 and the 4090 Ti, uh, 4090 uh, GPUs. Yeah. How are you? Good to see you in your latest video. Yeah. Wow, that latest video was damn tiring. It was, it reminds me, reminded me of like old times. Eh? Install already? What was the speed? You wanted to do the, the test speed? I am not satisfied. Now I'm going to... I'm going to download... Eh? Wait, wait, wait. I'm not satisfied with that. No, 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 no. I'm gonna download the beta just to see the speed. 85 gigabytes, huh? don't forget, 85 gigabytes for the beta. Let's see the download speed. It's initiating. And the installer, installer driving. Okay, oh look at that, really, because of the drivers, it's at 80, 90, 95, 100 megabytes per second, 105, 106, 107, 108, anymore, 109, 110, anymore, 111, 111, that's why you install your drivers is is 112 113 install your drivers don't forget to install your motherboard drivers without drivers 11 megabytes with drivers 111 megabytes but anyway yeah that last video i did reminded me of my wedding times where you do the wedding in the morning in the afternoon then you freaking like edit for the night but okay diablo 3 hey julian i have a pc that is spoiled try to troubleshoot it myself but still fail to repair it sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't do you provide repair service that will pay definitely uh i i did have the idea to to do it for content uh but uh do Instagram DM me. I will see what I can do. Just let me know like your the diagnosis, what troubleshoot you have done, and I see what I can do. Sometimes it's maybe I just give you a few like knowledge and then you can fix it yourself already. It is a lot easy to sorry, it's a lot easier to troubleshoot when you have extra parts because you can see like what actually is the problem. Uh, and I remember I used to pay a service just to find out what parts is uh, not working. And it was 70 bucks, man. It's damn dumb. Now to think of it. Okay. Why the game? Why the game? I, I hear the sound. But I don't see the game. Why? <sighs> what the problem? What the problem? Hello? Why the game like that? Okay, one more time. Oh, do I have frame view? Yeah, I do. Nice. One more time. Let's go. Diablo 3. Yeah, the, the thing about the thing about Discord is that it's not on my phone. Like I don't have Discord on my phone. 
What do I do if the updates freeze while I'm restarting? Which update? What update are you talking about? Talking about Windows? Because Windows updates really, I tell you, Windows is a thing. There's a good shop in Sinisway that they charge Ang Pao for repair. Oh, back then, poor student paid $20 for diagnosis. Oh. I, I, last time I went to like Paya Leba, I used to stay at Tampanese. Okay, Barbarian, Crusader, Demon Hunter, Monk, Necromancer, Witch Doctor. Ooh, that's, someone asked me right, what race I would be or what class I would be. Demon Hunter looks good, man. But I feel like it's going to be overrated. Like, everyone's going to use Demon Hunter. I feel like Crusader. Now, back then, right, I used to play Ragnarok, right? It's always that... Let me lower the volume. I'm always that... Thief, Assassin, Quit, Agility. Uh, last time, my username used to be Evil Assassins with a 2Z. But now, these days, I'm a very... Uh, I just rather be a barbarian or crusader, just have a shield. So I think I'm, I'm gonna be a crusader. Yeah, male crusader. Wait, I can't be a crusader. I need to upgrade. Oh man, I guess I'll be a barbarian then. Uh, Julian. Barbarian. Ah, uh, cannot. Julian Bar TM then. Dismiss. I don't want to. I don't want to buy. Just want to see. Uh, hard. Okay. Start game. No demon hunter in Diablo for Oh damn. Oh, then got rogue, yeah. Usually I go for the rogue, thief, all these kind of uh, classes. What's up, daddy? Bro, got any monitor you don't want? No, don't have. The only one I don't have is not working. Okay. So, let's see what is the... Quality settings, we got high, high. Uh, at the moment, we are run, we're not running. We run at 1080p white screen. Let's play window white screen. Get that right first. Okay, the graphics are potato. That's what I can say. Uh, little box. Max, we get the max. Okay. All right, so we are at 70 FPS. Wow, Diablo 3 actually quite hard to run. Huh? Damn. I was expecting like 100 FPS, but is there anything that is limiting it? Like V-Sync or something? No V-Sync is off. Damn. Looks like we need to set a bit of lows, man. That is weird. Yeah. How can you? Well, unless it's more optimized for Diablo 4. So, with this PC, that will cost you minimally $800, $900, would run Diablo 3 at a good 60, 70 FPS. Oh, I was expecting a lot more. Eh. To be honest with y'all, I'm gonna set the uh, graphics a bit lower. 1080p. Okay, one thing is that it's not running at 1080p. It was running at a very weird resolution. Okay, ah, 
Aha. Uh -huh. So with everything turned down, it's at 75 FPS. I feel like this is the actual real recommended settings for Diablo 4. Man using Diablo 3 to Di Like I said, uh, Diablo 4 is not out yet, but we're gonna just have a guesstimation. Just a guesstimation. We're gonna do a actual Diablo 4 test. Maybe tomorrow, depending, we'll see how the response for this live stream goes. Either tomorrow, Sunday, or... Um, uh, but I'll be doing a proper video, okay? Let me... So here's the, here's the plan, alright guys? I'm going to do a proper video where I do the recommended settings. Uh, uh, sorry, recommended specs, which is the 970. Then I will be doing a proper test with this PC with the 6600. Then we will get into a bit of the mid-range GPUs. Then we're going high-end. We're going to 4080. Yeah. That's the thing. What's, what's a similar spec to D4? We won't know until the game comes out. That's the problem I, I have with your comment. So this is just to gauge, just to gauge how, how well I will run. Uh, because if you, if you say what, the latest one, Cyberpunk, it's, it's all about optimization. It's not really about uh, which that's another game that is similar to D4 because we won't know what's similar to D4 until D4 comes out. But we can see something similar. The only thing that's similar is D, D3 because they updated the game a bit. So the graphics will be still potato, but we will see uh, they will want to have very similar low specs for D3. So this one you can see like what runs, but it probably will run better and look better because of optimization. Okay, the interesting thing is that the GPU is not running 100%, but I think that's because of the resolution. Very, very odd. So I think, I think uh, the problem with this game now uh, is optimization. GPU is not running 100%. So, that's so weird. But I guess that's, that's how it is. Let's crank everything up to full. Uh, higher settings. Uh, accept. And see whether it will run. Then we up the the resolution. So yeah, the, the problem with old games is, yeah, that's, the, that's the, the funny thing about Diablo 3 now. I think because of optimization, the frames per second at the highest and the lowest is still same. So right now it's cranked up at the highest, it's running, still running at 70 FPS. Uh, it's using 30% of the GPU, so we have a lot of headroom. And it's run, it runs fine. And the thing is, VSync is off, maximum FPS is off. Everything is off, but I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe I increase the FPS, max FPS. Uh, let's see if it does anything. Nope. Yeah, so old game, it's an old game. I'm going to try to increase the resolution to 1440p because that's my native monitor resolution. Ah, no problems. Now we get into the higher GPU usage. Now we're using about 60% and FPS is actually better. Uh, 80, 80 FPS. So I'm going to assume that this PC is going to be good enough to run D4. But yeah, I, I will give it to you. It's, it is not fair to run D3 to test D4, but this is just a gauge. This is just how to build. We're not going to do proper benchmarks un until the... Here's the thing, even the beta, we can't see the actual graphics because they're going to optimize it a lot more in the future. So what I play today or tomorrow, or rather tonight, is not going to be the same as what is going to be released in June. But we can get a good guesstimation. So that, that is it <laughs> for the live stream, I guess. If you have any questions, let me know.
gonna make this a bit lower. Yeah, yeah. Well, good point. Good point. I give it. I give it to you. Oh, it's been an hour already. Yeah, it's been fun. I always like to interact with you guys and build PCs. That's like my two favorite things to do. Ta-da! Oh, it's a bit, a bit too wide now. Kind of curious if you have any recommendations you have on upgrades for build builds having the 6600 and Ryzen 56. Uh, like if you have an extra 300, 500 dollars. Okay, let me think. If you get to sell your 6600, you will get about uh, 200 dollars, at least 200 dollars for the 6600. So you would have an extra 500 to 700 dollars, right? So if an extra 500 to six, uh, 700 dollars, you can get the RTX 3060 Ti. And that will give you a significant uh, graphical boost. Let me see how much is a 3060 Ti. Yeah, the 3060 Ti on the online market is about... Wow, so expensive. Uh, why? Uh? They're only showing me 3060s. Let's see, 3060 Ti is about $700, yeah, about $700. But um, it's not going to be worth it. But if, I'm, if you go to Simeon Square, it should be a lot cheaper. Let me see. Uh, $600, $700, yeah, close, the high $600 range. Double check now, guys. Give me a second. 360. Yeah, I think Carousel is the best place to really see how much it is. Ah, hold on, uh, 3060 Ti. So the 3060 Ti would cost about five hundred and seventy-five dollars, and it's brand new. This is brand new. VPC. VPC sells. For 575. So you could actually get it even cheaper in Simming Square. Maybe you can get a better deal if you go to the store itself. Yep. About 500, less than 600. Yeah, I think uh, 3060 Ti will be a very good upgrade from the 6600. Let me see how much, give you a rough idea of how, how much better it is. It's gonna be about. 20% improvement. So if you have 100 FPS, you get an extra 20 FPS plus, plus. Um, you get DLSS. Yeah, that's, that's just the only plus. Uh, uh, actually, maybe Path of Exile is worth trying to test the performance closer to. Uh, I don't have the game, I have to buy the game, but I'll uh, let y'all know. D4 got any ray tracing graphics? We, I, I actually haven't checked it out, but tonight I will check out and then we either do a live stream on uh, Sunday or I'm gonna do a proper video. The proper video will come out either way, but yeah. Yo bro, do you have some old GPUs that you don't want? I use intergraf integrated graphics and I can online run Fortnite. <laughs> I don't have man, I wish I had. If I, if I were to give you one, then I have to give everyone one, but yeah, I don't have. Um, I think at seven hundred dollars, you could buy a thirty seventy. A thirty seventy costs six hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, you could buy that. A thirty seventy would give you a, a big boost. Yep, about seven hundred dollars. Yeah. Just upgrade your GPU. I think the fifty six hundred is still pretty good. It won't benchmark. A benchmark. You won't bottleneck your your GPU as much. Uh, yeah, but I'm thinking if you let's say if you buy, is it better to buy a thirty seventy or upgrade your PC with a thirty sixty Ti? And I think at if you're upgrading, right, 
then the 3070 will be better. Because if you upgrade your CPU, then you need to upgrade, like the best upgrade I would think of is at least a 13600K. And that's very, uh, then that, that I can't upgrade will be a 10K, a 10K, 1K upgrade. So yeah, that's what I think. My 3070 Ti can run full high graphics. Uh, I think the 3070 Ti is uh, definitely can run. So uh, uh, just to recap, they are saying on their specs uh, website, right? Their recommended settings is 970. You can run it on medium graphics, 1080p. Yeah, 60 frames per second. But I, I kind of doubt that. I think this is the true 1080p, 60 frames per second. But looking at how D3 runs, I think it can run better than, than 60 frames per second. But we'll see, we'll see. We're gonna do proper testing uh, maybe on Sunday. So uh, get that, let me know in the comments if you wanna see uh, Sunday live stream. I think Sunday I only can do in the afternoon, but we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see how it works. Hello, Julian, I just watched halfway. Your recent 1K custom built video, quite informative. Stop at the part before you go sim limb. Yeah. The 1K PC is a good PC. I forgot what was the spec, but I think it's a 6600. Yeah, 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 yeah. I bought it at Simlim Square. Where's the PC? Yeah. I sold the PC. Did I sell the PC? What happened to that PC? Yeah, I sold the PC. Can play League of Legends max setting? Yeah, can. Can. Uh, you can run you can run a you can run a, a potato PC with, with League of Legends. What specs is it now? Okay, I'm gonna do the exact specs on the description later, but at the moment it's a 12400F and 6600. So if you buy minimum, it will be about 1K, but if you want it even cheaper, you get a 5600. Okay, I'm gonna end the live stream soon, all right guys? I do a few more questions and then I will go off. Got, uh, got things to do, places to go, description to add. But yeah, hope you enjoy this live stream. Uh, it will be up as a video. Hopefully it does well. Usually I'll unlist it after a while. But you know, I think this one, I think this live stream will be good. I think I'll keep it in. Let's see. Uh, it's a bit dark. Uh. I don't know why my camera makes it so dark. I think because of monitor. Let me, let me, only now that I change. Uh. Because if you see, I go close, uh, then yeah, it's properly lit up. But I think because of the monitor, I had the eye also at. Ooh, bright, bright, bright. Yeah, I think this is a good one. Yeah. I'm gonna be brighter, lah. Huh? Okay, hold on, uh, let me let me double check. Uh, just wondering if you can recommend me a custom built standard size chassis for editing creative work. Uh, budget about two point three to two point eight three. Wow, that's a that's a very good. You can get a very good PC with that price range. <laughs> Let me think. I haven't I haven't did a three K price range for a long time. But if I'm not wrong, with that kind of money, you can get a thirteen seven hundred F KF. I mean or 13600 kf around there 13600 13700 get a proper cooling so a aio uh 24 millimeter at least or if you if you like air cooling you want more reliability go for like a be quiet uh, dark rock 4 pro that's a very nice i like that cpu cooler i'm running it right now for my 12900 kf uh then for motherboard i mean you can go for what is it called now z790 yeah z790 for the gpu that's the that's the bulk bulk of the the money where would the gpu go so you you said for editing right so you might want to actually it really depends how you play what what software is good uh uh sorry what uh, your software needs is it more gpu or more cpu I think it's either you go for a 13700K or a 13900K. It's gonna be it's gonna be quite expensive. You're gonna it's like 1K there already. 
uh, but I think with your price range, you are, are able to avoid afford 1300k. But I say minimally get a 13700. Then that's where a lot of your money, where is your money going for the GPU? A 4080, that's about 2k, if I'm not wrong. But I think a good GPU would be the 4070 Ti. Yeah, I think a 4070 Ti would be a good, good GPU for, for you. Let me double check what's a, what, what price is the 4070 Ti. Forty seventy Ti is about one point three k to one point four. Yeah, I think it's I think it's in your budget budget range. So, I I'll give you two options for the CPU, and uh, yeah. So the two options is either the thirteen seven hundred KF save a bit of money KF. No 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 sorry sorry. If you're doing video editing, don't get the F version. It actually helps your editing if you do if you get the uh, integrated graphics. So you get either get a thirteen seven hundred K or a thirteen nine hundred K. That's the price rate. Depend on how much money more money you want to spend. Uh, better CPU actually helps with uh, video editing, especially with your scrubbing of through of your timeline. And then for your GPU, you can go the forty seventy Ti. Yeah, I think that's a that's a good combination. Yeah, then everything else is up to you. Uh, okay, uh, Ivan Yo, my seven-year-old Asus Wi-Fi PSE card is sometimes detectable and sometimes it's not. Uh, I need to reset it several times until it showed up. Is there any sign of fa failing card? I mean, just you, you, now these days, you don't need Wi-Fi PCIe cards. Okay, it's it's quite affordable. Or just get a dongle. I think a USB dongle is good enough. Uh, if you upgrade your PC, a lot of motherboard now comes with Wi-Fi, so uh, not a big deal uh, there. Just either get a new PCI slot, slot get a new USB uh, adapter Wi-Fi, which I think is very good already. Get Ethernet, man. I, I never like Wi-Fi. Part of Excel is free on Steam. Oh, okay. I mean, we do that. It doesn't matter. La. It's going to come out tonight, and we probably do a live stream on Sunday. Uh, updates on Instagram. Uh, let's see. Thanks for the stream. No problem, man. Uh, let's see. Soul wins. Yep, I'm looking forward to the nice GPU, CPU, and decent motherboard as well. A lot of reviews are hyping up the Thermal Right Peerless Assassin Air Cooler. What is that? Let me. Is it Thermal Take Peerless? Let me let me search it. Let me see what you mean. Peerless S. Assassin air cooler. Let's see what you mean. Thermal right, it's really thermal right. Oh wow, very affordable. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna super affordable for for radiator for radiator for a heat sink to look that big. Seventy bucks. Wow, it looks like a Noctua. CPU cooler for half the price. Uh, I'll test it, man. I'll test it. I'll buy it. You know what? I'll buy it now. Ooh, $65. Holy crap, man. That is affordable. Let's see when. when oh. See, there's the six heat, heat pipes and the seven heat pipes, both very affordable. I can get it by Wednesday. Wow, that's quite long. How about this? Wow, it's quite long. How about this one? How about this one? Yeah, everything takes quite long. Uh, there's the six heat pipes and the seven heat pipes version. Not sure. Oh, wow, that's very affordable. I'm going to buy it now. I'm going to buy it now. The cheapest one is freaking $60 with RGB or more. The non-RGB is more expensive. I'm on uh, Amazon at the moment. Uh, okay, bye, bye, bye. I'll buy it to test it out for you, man. Damn, son. Super affordable. Uh, deliver to office. Where's my office? There we go. 
you go to this address. Hold on, buying. Ah, hold on, give me. I might have missed some of your comments because it went up. But I'll read it through the app. Oh, this is international. I'll get by the end of the month. This is take quite long. Uh, we, the thing is, if I buy this, right, we can do a test because I have a uh, be quiet and then I have to buy a Noctua also. Damn, shit. But then, then again, don't buy Noctua. Lah. It's expensive in Singapore. They don't really care about the Singapore market. Okay, a few more questions. We got all the questions. Around. Let's get some of the questions. Oh, where's my, where's my questions? I check. Uh, let's see. Oh, Sony Vegas, ah. oh, I know, man. Uh, hey, here's the thing. I use Sony Vegas. Now it's not Sony anymore. It's just Vegas Pro. Vegas is crap. It's so unoptimized. If it's possible, move to Da Vinci Resolve or uh, Premiere Pro. The shortcuts is different, uh, but you can actually change the shortcut. If you're Vegas Pro, S is your split. Very easy. And and you can add uh, you can you can change the change that in Premiere Pro. I have changed like the problem with Vegas Pro is if you have a big project, right? Wow, such a headache headache to to deal with. Premiere Pro ha Premiere Pro Premiere Pro has gave me very little problems, and that's why I like it. Even even Da Vinci Resolve use Da Vinci Resolve, guys. It's free, it's free. Yeah, it's free. It's a bit of a learning curve, obviously. It's, it's a lot harder to learn from uh, unlearn and relearn, but it's, it's totally worth it. It saved me so much time. <laughs> to be honest, if you prefer more VRAM, then buy the 7900 XT with the 20 gigabytes VRAM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're using Blender, then yeah, maybe. More V, oh, Blender, yeah, you need, you need more VRAM. Uh, you can get the 4070 Ti for 1199. That's a good price. What do you think of the latest gen laptop CPUs and graphic cards as desktop requirements? I saw the 13980H score is quite rela equivalent to the 13700K. Uh, uh, it's normal. It's normal. It's always the. It's always like that. Like a 4080 on a laptop would be, ah, uh, let me say that again, because we can't have a real equivalent. Uh, 3090 or 3080 uh, GPU would run like a 3060 Ti. Uh, that's, that is because, if I'm not wrong, it's the same chip, but you can't put as much uh, power to it, and you can't put as much heat to it. So we, we, we talk about performance per wattage, you will probably get a better results with a higher GPU, but you won't get the, the better performance compared to a desktop. Yeah, that's the thing about laptops and desktop. Very normal. <sighs> what is uh? If you're doing 3D modeling render than higher visual, why don't, why don't use Aoros C700, is that a NVMe? What's a C700? Oh, you're talking about a case. Uh, because this is why it's available. Like I said, it is be it's better to just get a techware case. A lot cheaper. Julian, do you remember video hype? You can do a review video and write on the hype from Gamer Nexus video. Oh, oh is that the 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 CPU cooler. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll see. Don't Linus flame this case because the front had no airflow. It's true. It's true. The front, eh, the front? Yeah, the front airflow is shit. Yeah, that's, the airflow is right here.
Yeah, that's why I, I, I mean I said it like, like this case is not the best. Uh, I rather you go for tech wear, but this is just what I have in hand. I might just look to either one or of the four companies you recommend, Aftershock, Dreamcall, etc. For the custom builds, will that be more economical than buying individual parts? No. I, uh, here's the thing. If you go Simlim, right, you don't actually buy individual parts. Uh, I think you go online, buying individual parts is the worst. Like, because online is just... Uh, the best is you go Simlim Square, you get all the parts in one store. Then you can get a better, um, a better deal. With that video I made, Apparently, I have targets on me. Like, there are a few stores that are not happy with me. And oh, it's, it's such a it's such a face palm kind of situation because they just don't understand the modern day of internet and social media. They think if anything negative is said about their company, right, they go ape shit. I don't understand why they don't put their that that energy into bettering, bettering is that a word? No, that, that improve their quality of service or their price or anything. Instead, they want to bash anyone that says anything negative. Apparently they do that, like, I'm not gonna name names now. I, I actually thought about doing a video about it, but maybe one day I will. Uh, like, I, like, I wanna make a very conclusive video about it. I don't wanna half, Fuck that video, you know. But it's just so mind-boggling what some companies do. So some example of what companies do, right, is that they, like, let's say in a forum you say some bad things about the store or their online stuff. They would, uh, they would have like a bunch of people within their group to defend their store, and they will make it as though they are the customers, and. And it's so obvious that you guys are not like the general people, okay? So why do I say that? I'm not gonna name anything. I think one of my call, sorry, one of my videos, right, got something like that. Why? Because the video itself got very positive likes, light ratio. Even though you can't see the light ratio, I still can see the light ratio. It was like uh, the top light ratio, very, very good. But there was these three comments that were negative. And then these comments were saying like, why I, it's all about the same thing. And they all had like instantly a lot of thumbs up. Like things like that don't happen on YouTube, okay? It's not natural. So I feel like there's this bunch of like group WhatsApp that they go, oh, this motherfucker stalking bad about our brand, attack. And then they attack. And their attack is not like downright like, fuck you, uh, this video is shit. No, it's actually comprehensive and they talk about it. And then, uh, but the problem with their comprehensive comments, right? It has nothing to do with the idea or the concept of the video, okay? Nothing to do. They'll tell me things like, why you never give this store uh, a proper look into it? I had a very good experience as a customer and um, I wanted the 4080 streaks but it didn't come in in Singapore but I asked them and they ordered for it me custom made, custom order for me. Then I'm like, what does that have to do with the video? The video is about online versus Simlim Square. Nothing to do with custom orders. It's about value PC. I don't care about the service of the store. I care about the value of the parts they give. Oh. That was a uh, that was great, man. That was rent. Uh, but then again, um, oh oh yeah yeah. One more thing. Then they start to they start to tell me like why I only promote trip pack. Why I only do this. Then that is if you if that is what you took out from that video, right? That means you haven't even watch any of my videos because any long time viewers right would know that i always said you do your own research you do your own comparison at simlim square that is my 
like that how do you go to how how to build a pc that's my recommended thing because i don't want to be biased i have a relationship a good relationship with certain stores in simlin square and why would i go to another store because they they like from the start from the first time i went to the store they gave the best price and then because of that we we got a better relations and when i build when i do a comparison for my viewers i would want to do it in a non-biased thing and sometimes because of this unbiasedness right i am biased negatively to the stores that i have a good relation because i'm being so unbiased to the point where i am actually negatively biased on that thing and it is a thing like i did research it you can be so unbiased to the point that you are actually biased to your like any good partners where was i yeah so like the the and it doesn't even doesn't even like the, the comment doesn't even it doesn't make sense that's the that's the problem with the the video uh the comment i mean like i i kind of i kind of uh, uh oh no the blood i kind of well, I talk until I no speed. Eh. Damn. It kind of seems like it's their group of people, that brand of people, because they have tinted glasses. Like they they are on a perspective of a fanboy. Because when because if if you're a unbiased viewer, right, you will take different things about the video. Or or or, or how you say you take what I manufacture, what I design the video to be. <clears throat> Whereas if you are a fanboy of a certain company, and I say one small negative thing about that company, you go like, hey, shit, holy shit, they said this thing about my company or the company that I like, and comment, comment, comment. That's the problem with uh, being a fanboy or being part of a... Uh, affiliated with the company you will have a bias uh, view about it and you know what i bet they are not gonna even watch this live stream if you watch then good job man it's a one hour live stream and you actually you're, you're a proper viewer but i guarantee they won't even watch this guarantee because they are not even a viewer for for julian tech tm they're just Someone that, oh my god, guys, he talk about my brand, our, our, our brand. Come, let's go and watch this video and not know anything about his views. Let's judge him on this one video. Sorry, I, I went a bit on a rant. I won't post this anywhere except here. <laughs> but yeah, I, I actually wanted to do a video this week, but I decided not to because I want to do a full fledged uh, video about it, like a proper one. Already got blood. <laughs> wow. Oh my God, is I, I, <laughs> I, I never, I have never been so heated to the point I, I am actually nose bleeding. I don't know whether I can see that. Ah. Seeing how this topic affects you this much makes the video clear, clearer. Finding your stats seems a good thing. You can record as uh, record as you proceed, then decide if you publish the video. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, I can. I can tell you a bit about a bit about the market in in Singapore. The PC market in Singapore is very very competitive, very very nasty. Sometimes a lot of backstabbing, a lot of if you don't this then fuck you, and a lot of fuck you here, fuck you there, and and I think I think it's because of this. A lot of other products, uh, let let's talk about desktop products, right? Even even monitors monitors right you have a, a so many different kind of technology tn panel ips 1440p you got g-sync 
There's so many selling points for the, the PC. Tables, you got wood, you got natural stone, you got artificial wood, you got a lot of things, right? Mouse, you got look, feel, look. I said look twice. Uh, different sensor, keyboard, so many switches. There's so many selling points about it. But if you talk about PCs, right? There are like, six companies during uh, IT show. Uh, these six companies is basically selling the same fucking thing. The competition is so similar. Everyone is selling exactly the same parts. When I say same, I don't mean like the brand. Because that, that's, the, that's the only thing that the, the, the difference between these six companies. They only have limited brands for GPUs, CPUs, and all this. So if you think about it, these six brands are doing the exact same thing. They're not selling a table that's wood. They're not selling a chair that's leather or soft weave. It's all the same thing. And that's why it's a bit hostile in this market. Even if you talk about GPU manufacturers, they're basically selling the same thing and they all need to market the same way. So it gets very, very nasty in this, uh, in this market. And that's what I realized. Like suddenly it just snapped to my head. Why is it so, why is the PC market so hostile compared to other industries? Because you look at tables, right? Like Omidas, they are more wood. But you have also others that is less wood and more like just normal plastic or anything like that. Big check tail nose bleed, say. No, no, the, the nose bleed o uh, only happened like uh, this morning because I think uh, I ate quite, I quit, I ate quite heaty stuff the, the yesterday. Uh, but not nothing to worry, nothing to worry. Hopefully this experience doesn't turn you away from making videos at Simin Square. It really is rare to... Uh, here's something, all right, guys. Here's a, a bit of a thing. I might... I'm not gonna say much, but I might make one video, right? That might ban, ban me to go to Simon Square. I might make a video, right? That, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm just so, here's, here's my stand on the whole PC market. I think, I think we need to evolve. That's all I think. We, and, and I think that's a, uh, knowing that being in this channel for like two years now, I feel like we're gonna have a massive change in the next five years. And if Simlim doesn't grow with technology, which is so ironic because Simlim is a tech mall and is the, like, they're so old school, I feel they're gonna lose out. If they don't, if they don't change soon, they're gonna lose out. <sighs> you know, if AfterShock going to bring in higher end laptops, what's your definition of a higher end? Because I'm, I'm pretty sure they got the 4080 laptops already. Uh, okay. Would you find other tech YouTubers to make PC building comp competition? The problem with Singapore is that there's not a lot of tech YouTubers and uh, it's for a good reason. Uh. It's so hard to be a tech YouTuber. It's so... You need to be... Uh, okay, being a YouTuber or being in the, in the social media, right, you have to be... S like, I, and, and me myself, I'm not good at it. You, I, like you compare me with Chen Hao or Wild Banana or T... SL, this is TLS. Like, I'm not good. I'm not good at all. But other tech YouTubers are even worse than me. That's the problem. Like, you need to be a social media content creator first, then tech later. If you're tech first, right, and you're not good enough with the YouTube side, right, then you won't make it. Because you need to be an uh, editor. You need to be a... Um, uh, presenter, you need to be a, a 
uh, content creator in the sense that you 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 know what works and what doesn't work or, or you know how to craft the video that's the that's the thing like you can i can do like um benchmarks but i'm pretty sure if i just show you benchmark it's not good enough you need you need a bit of more entertainment yeah that's the problem wow talk a lot yeah i just talked for like freaking 10 minutes about it holy crap okay i have to go off soon i'm gonna answer a few more questions uh hey can up your video uh my mic volume uh we're gonna end already but thank you so much for joining guys i'm gonna end the live stream soon wow my nose man can i can i end from my phone let me see uh, uh, no i can't they should get like, let me do it man Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for like watching the live. If you all have watched from the start, thank you. Looking forward for your live stream on Sunday. Hopefully, we can do it. But it'll be a very short live stream anyway. It's either a live stream or it's going to be a TikTok or it's going to be an Instagram. Basically, I'm going to show you the uh, results of the uh, PC uh, benchmark for D4. So, uh, thank you so much for joining. I will see you in another live stream or, or on Instagram or anything. See you guys. Bye-bye. Let me, this is how to end the book.